Hey guys, just a quick note before I start the video here. Um, sorry about the last video that I put up, but uh, certain things had to be said because there's uh, less of a while there's been a couple of comments been left on some of the videos I have uh, uploaded, and uh, some of them are kind of trash talk basically. So I decided to just delete the comments and block the person. Um, as I stated in that video, that uh, I'm you know I'm no expert when it comes to this. I don't classify this hobby as you know as myself looking at myself as being a professional a professional hobbyist. I mean I'm not. I mean I'm only here to learn. I mean yes I can read the schematic. Yes I know what parts are, and uh, you know. It's just, I look at circuits and I look at them at a different way than other people may look at them, you know? It's just, just, just the way it is. Uh, I got my own weird way of going around circuits and troubleshooting. Sometimes I find a fault and fix them, and other times they just blow up. But at least I try, okay? That's the main thing. I'm trying. Like again. I'm not an expert, I'm no professional with this stuff, and I never claim to be an expert at it. So, next time you decide to comment about any type of video I upload, and you feel the need to trash talk any videos I make, just don't do it. I don't mind people leaving comments and saying, you know, like, the capacitor you put in. The, the value should change the value to this, because this may cause the circuit to do with this, or something like that, you know what I mean? Or uh, you do this microphone and this microphone circuit that you wired up is not right because this wire should be go here instead of over here. It's like, you know, that's, that's um, constructive criticism. But just to go on there and say, oh, look at the schematic and it should do this and you should do that and, and like, this demanding I do things. Like, no, that's just, just not how you do it. Anyways, just the video had to be uploaded and that's it. Anyways. On to the next uh, part of this video. Enough of this. I'm not saying nothing. I was bored about it. It's just behave, behaved out. I'm not putting up with the bullshit. I'm not putting up with the abuse. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. And let's get on with the main part of this video, shall we? What is in that right there? What's in that package? Right there. So, what is got a little package? Um... Uh, Came in the mail today, uh, finally. Let's see, little item that I bought off of eBay back in July. And here it is, September 14th, and only now decides to show up. <laughs> Getting stuff from Taiwan takes forever to get here. Uh, you buy something from over that way, you're looking at two months delivery. Minimal. Anyways, what's here is uh, a little project uh, board that I purchased and uh, I'm hoping that it's going to work well with the crossband repeater uh, This basically what it is is a recording module, but how to get it to work this you know this this shit to be seen All right, let's let's open this up and see what it is. We got oh yeah, This is a circuit board with electronics and it was zipped in a padded kind of envelope and uh, as you can see, oh, right there, there is a cut in the package, right there. Yeah, that's not good. Anyways, let's open this up and see what we have here. Oh, what? Oh, let's see, what do we got, boys? What do we got? Oh. The package that don't want to open. That's what we got here. <laughs> All right. So, here it is, it's in an ESD package, ESD safe, there's the board, little speaker on the back, let me open it up, let's have a good look here, make sure everything is uh, uh, good and not broken, mm -hmm. and of course, there is no instructions with this thing at all. Gotta love that. So it, uh, it, it looks intact. I don't know if you can see that through the ESD package or not. But there it is. 
So let's have a little look see here. And see what we've got. Or don't got. We got a pile of water. Wrapped around. Ah, there we go. Nice little speaker. 0.5 watts, 8 ohm. Uh, we've got the wire with the plug for solder to the speaker. And then we have the circuit board. There we go. There we have it. Little voice recorder. Pretty cool. So, uh, we got, uh, let me get something to point here. Ah, let's use this big old ceramic resistor. There we go. <laughs> oh, this set. Uh, there we go. So basically, we got a bunch of pins. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve pins. And we got VCC up here on top. Ground, FT, PL, PE. And record and then we got a mic element of course we got the record pl play erase I guess play E then we got another one play L play long I don't know <laughs> we got our IC chip um, we got a few little SMT resistors up here and an LED a couple uh, electrolytic caps and of course a plug and a couple capacitors there and the other side of the board is not much of anything. <laughs> um, first look at quality. The circuit board is actually pretty thick, which is very neat. It's uh, very tough just by looking at the board alone. A very strong board. Like that. The uh, the ISD uh, eighteen twenty is in its own socket, which is nice to see. And uh, there you go. So I guess the question is, how does this contraption work? Good question. I guess we're going to go back to eBay and find out how this thing works. I guess the first thing we should do is solder the wires. Other the wires to the speaker. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll go red with negative. It's marked, it's marked red, but it's in negative strips, so I'm assuming that's negative. And then the weight would be positive. There we go. So now the speaker is plugged into the board. Let's go over to eBay and uh, have a look and see if we get some programming information on this contraption. Alright guys, so here we go. Um, let's see, description, main chip ISD 1820. Working voltage, uh, DC 3 to 5 volts. Loudspeaker 8 ohm, 0 0.5 watts. An easy to use 10 second of voice recording. High quality natural voice restored can be used as a propaganda module with looping, uh, jog playback, single pass play function, available single chip control. This module can directly drive a small speaker 8 ohm 0 0.5 watt. Um, power supply 3.5 volts, which can be excess pin power. Um, this is audio recording control mode, the key to control, or microcontroller, I.O. has drawn the line of control. Uh, this is not even English, hardly. <laughs> Buttons control, audio recording method of operation. Uh, the record button, uh, you can press and hold the recording, release the button to stop recording. Um, then you've got play E key, trigger mode, playback, press We'll play this whole speech. Um, then you got play L key, jog mode playback.
press and hold until playback, release to stop playback. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it's a it's a cool little gizmo to say the least. Okay, uh, you got an RPL jumper, loop mode control, loop playback, FT jumper, direct control, microphone, voice through speaker, can playback. Be nice if this was actually in English. <laughs> Uh, a couple of pictures of the unit. So yeah, particular one uh, eBay or about this one off uh, was I don't know how the hell you pronounce it, but I let you read it. Tis by now, <laughs> that guy right there. And I paid a grand total of one dollar and eighty cents, eighty-seven cents U.S., which is two dollars forty-four Canadian. So I guess the next thing I guess you guys want to see is uh, the thing operating. Well, let's see what we can do about that.